Thank you, Mark and Trent, for leading us in that amazing ceremonial tradition. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel... Jack is bad at the Okay. All right, that brings... Boy, that could get addicting. So, that brings us to another of my favorite traditions, the Law Enforcement Torch Run. LETR originated in Kansas City in 1981. Police Chief Richard Lemunyan had a vision for his officers to become more involved in the community. So his department became the first official Guardians of the Flame, carrying the Olympic torch into the opening ceremonies of local Special Olympics events. As you know, the tradition stuck. Today, LETR is the largest public awareness and fundraising group to support Special Olympics worldwide. We are so very blessed to have a strong presence throughout New York State. My notes say more than 6,000 members, but somebody yesterday at a press conference said 7,000 members, so I'm saying more than 7,000 members of law enforcement work with us to raise more than $2 million every year through torch runs, polar plunges, cops on top, and much more. $2 million every year. That's real money. Back in April, when we were in Dutchess County to announce our summer games, we lit the Olympic torch in the days and months since. Our partners in law enforcement have carried that flame through nearly 60 communities across the state, running more than 500 miles in all. This is the 2019 Torch Run Journey. <laughs>
because if anyone noticed, who's been here before, we have a new addition to our Special Olympics team. Did anyone notice when they came in this beautiful, mighty cauldron? Nice, right? My first meeting with board member and LATR state committee member, June Warden, she told me she was on a mission to upgrade our cauldron. While our cauldron had served us so well for so many years, June wanted a new one to light our way for the next 50 years. One that was bold, beautiful, historic, and beaming one that would represent the spirit of our athletes. I, of course, gave her my blessing. June tracked down Dennis Hafey, a fourth generation tinsmith. Get this, he is the go-to guy when the Statue of Liberty needs restoring. That's who we get. And when work needs to be done at the Ellis Island facility. I asked Dennis why he took on a job of this magnitude, and he said Special Olympics embodies the ideal components of what a physical competition should be, fosters camaraderie, inclusiveness, and support, and carries the message that we are all in this together. June and Dennis, we just can't thank you enough. It's absolutely stunning, and we cannot wait to use this one-of-a-kind piece that we will cherish for years to come. I do have Game Changer shirts for both of you. Thank you for changing our game. All right, now for the best words ever. Let the games begin. Summer Games, New York City and Western Regions, please stay seated. You will be called for your buses. Thank you all, and we'll see you tomorrow at the competitions. Good luck, everybody!